Hey guys, here's another step for the movie poster series. Continuing with our poster series, Zero Kazama came in yesterday to give me some notes on improving the poster. One of the notes he gave me is Cory here looks a little too pale compared to the others. So obviously we want to give him a tan. I'll show you how. First, we go to his smart object, which you have to open. And then we're going to grab the pixel mask layer and we're going to duplicate it. Command and Control J. Go ahead and get rid of the mask. And press delete if it asks you to apply mask. And then with this layer selected, turn on quick mask mode. Now we're going to zoom in on his face. We're going to grab one of the brush tools, make sure it's black. Make sure the brush is big enough and just start painting in his face. You'll notice that it's red. Don't worry, this doesn't affect the image even in the slightest. Okay, now that his face is effectively burnt to a crisp with the quick mask tool, we go ahead and turn it off and his face is selected. But it's all around his face that's selected, we don't want that. So grab the lasso or marquee tool, right click and say select inverse. And now only his face is selected and we click add layer mask. And it creates a mask around his face, which we can do whatever we want. And specifically, you want to go to image, adjustments, and you can either use curves or levels. I'm gonna use levels. And you can bring down his skin tone. Definitely try to keep it subtle. You don't wanna make him look unrealistic. Press okay. And we can even go to image adjustments color balance and make him a little more yellow or add a little red just so he fits in a little better and press OK so here's with the tan and here's without with the tan without let's go ahead and save that and one thing you want to do before you're done is make sure that his eyes and his eyebrows are not part of this tan so just grab the brush tool, make sure it's white, and make sure your mask is selected. And just paint out the eyes section. Otherwise his eyes will be tanned. Do it for his eyebrows as well. We'll go ahead and uh, save that so we can take a look at it in the poster. There you go, he definitely matches. Definitely fits in a lot better. So, in the next video, Zero has requested that I change the look of his eye. He wants the entire eye, including the retina and the whites, to look like a chrome sphere. Basically, a fake eye that is made of metal or chrome. I'll show you how to do that in the next video.